I thought last episode was ridiculously hype as we realized that Rick has something else. But the more I thought about it, and I made that commentary before, it kind of feels like it's going against the rules or the themes of this show and it pissed a lot of people off. What is the point of this show? That even if you're in your 30s, even if you have forsaken your dreams to do the safe route, it's not too late for you if you try hard. And if you try hard, then maybe you can be as successful as Rick. That was seemingly the fundamentals of the show, but suddenly last episode's flashback, which I thought was pretty good, showed that he had this hidden skill this entire time. Awakened Brute Valor something I think happened when he encountered a dragon and was in a life or death situation. And now people could argue that, well, shit, he was just the chosen one the entire time. And now he's getting bailed out. And you could reason it like that, and if you really think about it, if he didn't have that passive, right, if he didn't have that skill, would Renet have taken him in to train? No, right? The only reason Renet did that was because he had the motivations to kill that elite monster, I forgot the name, Kaiser something, and the fact that he had the potential to basically stop that dragon because of the skill. And if you think about it, he did risk his life to activate it, but definitely it is fair to say that this show is suddenly just kind of flipping the expectations on people's head and thinking, man, I'm just an average normie. I wasn't born with the fucking skill. Now this show is unrelatable. Listen, if this is the reason why this show is unrelatable, just think about what we did last time. You think that you could fuck kill a fucking dragon? Relax. It's a, it's, it's an anime. It's a work of fiction. Let's begin today's reaction. Ori Halcom Fist, I think. Oh, that was the other boomer instructor. Oh, that's why he's climbing up the mountain. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna die on his way there. Looks like a demon lord castle. Literally demon lord castle, right? Osan trained to death by the most powerful party. Wait, is he actually getting... Osan is us. But Osan is a generic term for old men. Is this guy actually gonna get trained? Imagine he comes back a Giga Chat. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Knock on the Demon Lord castle. He is, okay. Damn, it's a paradise within. What the fuck? Because the Orihakum Fist already defeated the Demon Lord, right? And they've basically taken over the castle, and now it's just like their sanctuary for the training. You might die. But if you die, you get resurrected because of the magic, remember? That's how they were training. They basically just put trained Rick to death and resurrected him. and just continue to train him. Hello, Lolly. As strong as her? That's gonna be... Well, as she, as she grew up, I'm like, yeah, your kid's not gonna be that strong right now. But yeah, it's a good goal. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> what the fuck? You almost killed him! Jesus, who's gonna repair that? Just for fun. <laughs> I've told you 23,000 times. Well, if you've told her 23,000 times, do you think that one more time is gonna change your attitude? Play together, as in survive? I bet the play is literally her throwing just ridiculous magic at him and him running away trying to fucking survive. Ooh. From the food budget. Hitting her where it hurts. Very cute. He's got of his own room? Yeah, the amount of land that Demon Lord Castle has is crazy. Number six. <laughs> what is this? this is ridiculous <laughs> cause like I don't know it just kind of gives me like gate vibes all of a sudden of a dude just with a fucking RPG right <laughs> nice shot he actually landed it 
もちっと反動を抑えるように改良されたら世界の戦術が This is true. This is actually so true. Like, I don't think even regular guns exist in this world. Or do they? I'm not sure. But like, yeah, this is basically opening up a Pandora's box. If the masses get guns like this, this could be a huge problem. It's the Oriakum. Orc? A very illiterate orc. Time to read together? What a gentle giant. He's probably the smartest one, too. Bulk of it? Okay. I wonder. He definitely doesn't know what he's signing up for. But, like, could he survive? Like, of course he's not gonna die because they'll just resurrect him if they die. But, like, I wonder if he has the balls to actually go through the training. If he does and if he comes out like Rick, that would be amazing. We'll see. <laughs> Finally opens his fucking eyes. And what do you say? I sense the same light I see in Rick, as in, oh, another. 30 something year old man that's washed up perfect i see that light let me fucking work you up let's go good luck mm -hmm. good luck latina lydia bro's wife is named latina one la away from darkness tosan is dope landed on a monster what is it Oh, read. <laughs> I thought he landed on a monster. I'm like, what is this? It's upside down. This is the hooves of the monster. Rena's carrying it upside down already. What the fuck? Running down a slope so steep. Yeah. Let me just run down. We're just dropping in. What, what, how are you running down this thing? Multiple times he's died and resurrected. That's the whole point of the training. Is he gonna give up? No. He's still going with it. I mean, he saved day. He survived day one. Well, he was gonna survive regardless. Now I wonder if his mental state is strong enough that he can push through. Like he doesn't need to be as strong as Rick. But if he were to become uh, much stronger due to the training, like it'd be pretty cool. It'd be good development for this guy. It was light comparative to what he does to Rick. Yeah, he just gaslights you. That's not the point. It's, 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 it's not the point that you can bring him back to life. It's that you say it's light work, but people still die during that light work, okay? That would have been actually a really funny moment, right? If there was like a really cute moment of Oji-san being like, Oh, this little girl, how dangerous could she be? I mean, we saw the lightning bolt in the beginning, but if she didn't see that, and she was like, Oji-san, will you play with me? And he's like, oh, wow, let's play. And then she just throws like meteors at him, and that's the whole training. In it, bruv. Is there any reason that people do this? Because the tea is still going to come out. There's still going to be the same volume of tea, and the quality of the tea is going to be the same. But sometimes you do lift it up. And if you do that, I guess the force of gravity will be higher. Like, you're gonna, you, there's more distance covered, so the fluid's going to come down at a faster rate. I, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's cool. Okay. Reminder that she's actually not a maid and this is just a regular outfit and she just cosplays slash roleplays maid. Just, I just want you to remember that. Oh, 
そうですよねそれでどこまで行ってるんだってなくて、なイエーツ。さえない三十代だし、そのくらいの年のさ。Twenty year age gap is crazy。要はちょっとしたタイミングだよ。二人の。I mean, twenty. So he's like forties. He, she's twenty son. Different cultures. The age gap. The older you get, the more normal it seems. But like, let's even take like a five year age gap, which is decent. Like, if you're like, I don't know, if, if you're like 18 and 23, I, I, what I'm trying to say is 35 and 40 doesn't look too bad compared to like 17 and 22, right? <laughs> you how old is Rina actually, though? I don't know how old Rina is. I think that the age gap between him. She is actually pretty young, isn't she? Well, the, the lolly is actually young. She's not a 9,000 year old demon in this show. She is actually young. So, Rina is actually 19. Got it, got it. 19 and 30, 11 year age gap. Got it. Six separate plates already. 60 year old bottle, wow! He's so fancy. Go. Go. Go help get the wine? I have a feeling that the bottle of wine is going to get broken. Something about the 60 year old wine makes it seem like he's going to go there and fuck it up. Look how dignified and elegant everything here is, though, from Mr. Orc's side. What's the condition? Well, how did it happen last time? He almost died facing a dragon. It seemed like a last resort. Truly like a last stand where you're almost dead. You can take like a lethal hit, and then it's just like Brute Valor awakens. Then he's in this like berserk mode where he's so strong. But after that, it's also very like taxing on your body. Wonder if it's a passive thing, right? Not manual activation. What if he has a skill? Right? What if he does? I w honestly, I don't care. I wish he has a skill. Bro, fuck it. Give a skill to him. It's been dormant for 40 years. Oh, it's called a Reckless Soul? I thought the kanji, or at least the translation I saw last episode was Brute Valor Awakened, but the skill is called Reckless Soul. Got it? Yeah, I mean a one shot of dragon. Magic stone, six jewels. What is this? Wait, more lore. Six jewels. Oh, what is it? You gotta collect the six fucking dragon balls in order to defeat Kaiser Alsapia. So now the rest of the season is collecting the six dragon balls. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Literally different dimension. We can't even get there unless we have those stones. Alright, let's go collect them. How many do we have right now? Avoid taxes. No, I think that you don't have to do anything. Like, if you were to just ask Ringnet, just honestly, and just like pursue some kind of date or romantic, I don't know. Adventure. I bet she'd say yes no matter what. Sore Spiral. Let's read this. A Sore Spiral, a dungeon at the furthest reaches of the world. It is said that the legendary monster Kaiser Alsa Piet sleeps in the very deepest floor. Fuck. So we have to get six Dragon Balls to get the Sore Spiral. But after doing that, there's also additional floors. <laughs> so do you already see how this is working? Right? I thought that it was as simple as just find a monster and kill. But no, we gotta collect the six Dragon Balls, then we gotta get to the very deepest floor. This is the conditions needs to be met. Oh boy. <laughs> Next up, the six jewels. Let's see this one. The six jewels, magic stones of the highest purity which are scattered across the world, um, around the world. When gathered together, they can open the door to the source spiral. It, so again, it's literally Dragon Balls, right? Uh, one of the two is called like Sovereign Gold, the Crimson Blossom. It can't just be as simple as like it's hidden in a different place, right? I wonder if other people like has ownership of these st jewels and we have to fight them to get it. But gather the six magical balls that activates every 200 years. 
open the spiral, whatever, go to the deepest floor, and Kaiser Elsa Pit will be there. Oh, legs! Alright. Damn! <laughs> uh oh. Oh. I thought. I thought it meant like then like you know we're gonna give her a mission here or something but no 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 no. Dude, he has a six pack on his back. How? How do how? He has a six pack on his back. How the fuck? His muscles has muscles. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on! Because this is Orihakum Fist. Gee, I wonder who we're gonna take. So, we're gonna take this random blue room girl, and she's gonna join the party just to miss the quota. And then she'll see how OP Rick is? <laughs> the old man comment from the broom girl wasn't that funny, but I don't know why this is hitting. The orc's like Sasuga, former receptionist. <laughs> Wow, you knew about the party metrics. I don't know if he's genuinely impressed or if he's roasting us. Because, like, I think he's not roasting us because he's a good person. But I could totally see someone saying this shit in a, you know, condescending way. Name is Ray. Got it. That aura. S rank. Ray Lucas. Okay. She's acting all high and mighty. He's already, you know, dismissing the lolly and Rick. We'll see how this is gonna go. Let's see it. Let's see how strong your broom attacks really are. <laughs> yeah, what are we looking for? <laughs> Not to sell. <laughs> How? Why, why are you so proud and confident in your skills? You're F Frank right now. I can brag? Can, can I have an autograph? Oh my god, I need an autograph right now. So like, when the stock price of your autograph goes up, when you get to A rank, I'm gonna sell it. Like, oh my goodness, come on. We're pretty low. Oh, shut the fuck up, bitch. You're lower than it. What, just because you're a bit younger? Probably a way younger. Nah, she's gonna have a rude awakening pretty soon. I mean... <laughs> that? I wonder where the stone is. <laughs> yeah. Like, hmm. Guys, can you sense the stone? I, I don't know. I think we're nearby it, though. Mm. Like a tracking device. <laughs> hey, don't track that. <laughs> He's about to get the camera angle in there. Uh oh. Oh, it goes invisible too. Oh, I think it's wind. I think this is supposed to be wind. I thought it was like a camera angle, right? It's gonna be a gust of wind, so they can flash the panties. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just realized that the pumping motion here from his hand is not helping. Imagine the pumping motion was not like this, but like this the entire time, too. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. What's up? Yeah, it's, it's a wind magic. <laughs> nah, she knew, she knew, she knew. She fucking knew. <laughs> Alicia, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Hope you guys had a good stream.
Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you guys had a good stream. And guys, go check out Alicia if you haven't. She does a lot of anime content too. But let's get back to the regular content, all right? It's just a wyvern. Oh, come on, F Frank Adventurer. You were talking all that shit. You, you say you're gonna be A rank pretty soon. Get in there. Take the wyvern out. I just... Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh, that, that, oh, 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 he just decimated the entire force with that too, shit. Okay. More shit we can farm. Wyvern fodder? Hey. <laughs> He Loki. He literally just said, "You're quite noisy, Rick. Take care of it, Rick. Take care of the girl. Knock her out right now. Chop her in the back of the fucking neck." Maybe. Only thirty seconds. Yeah, remember, she's planning to be really strong. She's not strong yet. I love the confidence that she has, but sometimes it's like, God damn it, bitch. You talking all that shit? Come on, show me something. Yeah, another victim. Two at a time, one in each hand right now, bro. Too easy. Get out of here. S rank adventurers, man. Uh huh. Old man Riz? Hold up. <laughs> Old man Riz? I don't know. Uh, no, I don't. You think she'd fall for him just because of this by the end of the episode? I'd like her to respect Rick, though, by the end of the episode. <laughs> and again, the dragons, the wyverns, they're not CGI, right? Or if it was, like, it's not bad. Again, like, my standard, like, a litmus test for CGI is, like, do they make the dragon CGI or not? Like horse carriages, people riding carriages and horse, do they make a CGI or not? If they don't, usually means that the studio is like, yes, we know, and we're giving a fuck. <laughs> One punch. Oh, old man Rick gonna do something? Okay. Hold up. Okay. That's, that's a little bit better for her. I don't know what she's going to do, but at least she's not backing down. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> she didn't finish the incantation. <laughs> He did not enough enough fucking time for that shit. And was the dragon last episode similar to this? It was a red one, right? Because like, you know, last time obviously we used uh, the reckless skill or something. But this time, he just raw punched and punched it. So it kind of shows parallels of... This is a real dragon? Nah, it was a real... This is wyvern? Okay, okay. I'm like, maybe they're trying to show us that like, look how much stronger he's gotten from before. Where he needed that to one shot, but this time it's just a base punch. But this one's probably weaker. Was it blue? That was fucking red. Maybe I'm colorblind. Yeah, you are. See? And like, this is the beautiful thing about this show versus I parry everything. Two boomer fucking main characters, both OP, but Rick knows he's strong and he's now embracing it. While in the parry show, because the author is trying to keep that running gag of him not knowing how strong he is and therefore that creates ridiculous situations. Like, I get it. They are doing it intentionally. It's just a little annoying how dense he is, but that's the whole gimmick of the show. You're weak, and you would die to make you feel like you belong somewhere? I don't know. Nothing good? What do you mean? They just fucking wiped out a whole nest of wyverns. Man, you should be happy. Food. Literal food. Oh, 
エスロンお前も一番さ私もエスランクになれますかね Who's gonna tell her? Well, you never know. Maybe she has a skill, bro. Maybe she has an innate skill that hasn't blossomed yet. But it's looking kind of bad. I'm not sure if we're gonna see you ever again, to be honest. I feel like she's, an, she's like a one time character that's shown just to be included in the party once, just to be accepting the quest. And we're never gonna see her again. <laughs> She's gonna get fired. Oh, we got it. That's one out of six. Using the resonance of this magic, we should be able to find remaining six jewels. What? This specific one somehow is radar? And it could be like beep boop, beep boop. Oh, that's the next one? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, where's the Dragon Balls at? It better be nearby. Combat Arts. Coliseum. Oh my god. I mean, our last name literally is Rick Gladiator. Coliseum Tournament Arc incoming? Oh my. Shit! That was a girl! Is that a new girl? I can't tell if it's a new girl or if it's the sister, the second sibling of the noble family, you know? Because they were trying to make her have like some kind of redemption. You know how she starts to get newfound respect for Rick by the end of the last arc? After her big bro was corrected? Like, I could totally believe it's her. But anyways, that is today's episode of Osan Newbie Adventure and... I think that today's episode could be considered the slowest, but even then... It's not even like boring. Like pacing up this show is fantastic. There's not been a single episode where I was like, oh my god, that's stalling, that's dragging along. Maybe some of the slow part was, you know, our four-year-old friend joining the Oriel Confist up in the Demon Lord Castle because this is our new base and training him. I hope that he actually got stronger by doing so. But in doing so, we also got to do more, you know, got more of lore, right? Because he was our informant to try to figure out, you know, where is these jewels gonna be? If you collect the six jewels. A portal will appear to a different dimension known as the Spiral Something, and at the lowest floor exists Kaiser to defeat. But obviously, we need to now go collect the fucking Dragon Balls. This one off character today, I'm not sure if it's one off. She was pretty fun. She's kind of more annoying, if anything, in the beginning, but obviously, you need like the straight man of the group to realize how ridiculous the Ori Alchem Fist really is. Rick did blow off this dragon's head with one punch, but it was more of a wyvern, so it's not really the same as last episode. But hey, pretty sick overall, and we got to know more of what's going on, how to find Kaiser. And the next arc, man, we get in the Colosseum with potentially the noble sister getting corrected, and that's it for me. If you're here still, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.